Sheetgreen.com Welcome back to the weekly roundup, everyone. So this week, we have a lot to get through. First up, Wonderland. They were in the thick of it as news surfaced that their CFO was, in fact, the co-founder of infamous exchange in Canada, Quadriga CX. You know, the one that stole all the money. Yeah, that one. The memes and the commentary, well, that rolled in as you would expect. The community decided to dive in. Here are some fresh takes from them. Time holders were pretty wrecked. Gainsey was one of them. <laughs> Speaking of wrecked, the US government, well, they're moving pretty heavily to an anti-Bitcoin narrative. Here's a question for you guys. Should this guy be protecting you from Bitcoin and other digital assets? <laughs> Meanwhile, over in Texas, they do not give a shit. The SEC, they're always kind of dipping into crypto as much as they can. Here they are rejecting another ETF. And here's a post from Kobe. Speaking of the US, FTX and their US arm FTX US, they're raising a fair chunk of change. Nation states have chosen to react just as the markets are crashing. The Bank of Russia, they called for a ban on crypto last week. But Putin, he smelt an opportunity. El Salvador, they've been getting some heat from the IMF. Here they are trying to tell them to get rid of BTC in the country. We don't think El Presidente cares that much though. Governments are probably itching to know who actually created Bitcoin. The inventor of Linux and Git just gave them a potential clue. We're not sure if real. Speaking of Bitcoin, Michael Saylor, he went on up only. Or should they really rename it down only? For those who haven't watched the episode yet, this is how it went down. Sailor owns a metric ton of Bitcoin, so I guess we have to listen to him. <laughs> the markets are looking pretty bearish at the moment. Uh, we imagine a lot of you are at this point of the fear and greed index too. And it's not a loss until you sell. This latest dumps caused panic among retail investors. Will they be able to cover their taxes? Barry Silber asked the real questions we all want to know. If you're having a panic attack reading all of this, uh, just walk away from the screen and get jacked like Matty. All right, let's get started. Jeremy, come on, fucking hit me. Jesus Christ, hit me. Come on, hit me. I don't want to do it. Close enough. How can, how can I lift this if you don't hit me? Be a man and fucking hit me. Hit me. Hit me. I'm not enjoying this. I did not enjoy that. For the record, I did not enjoy that. Let's go, Mad Zone. Yes. 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 Fuck you. Did my hit help? Yes. Do it. I mean, I can do it underneath. Yes. Sammy and Cody. It's going to break the floor. <laughs> Elon Musk made some news this week as he asked McDonald's to accept Dogecoin. McDonald's replied. Crypto degenerates, they also replied by trying to set up uh, meme tokens and pumping the price. The McDonald's Twitter account has been turning into quite a troll lately. This is not okay. The crypto Twitter accounts they're all talking about, they began hypothesizing how to spend that McDonald's paycheck. Enter Naib and Kobe.
Remember guys, McDonald's is a job for life. They would never lay you off. Smart contracts, however, they might. <laughs> On the topic of horrible technology, OpenSea is messing up again. Like really, really messing up. To finish this one off, a bit of relatable comedy for you. Here's an image of a Bitcoin OG telling his daughter's boyfriend he has made terrible life decisions. It's not looking good for the girlfriends at the moment. That's all for this week, guys. See you next week.